Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode we raise the ridge beam which is an 18 inch LVL or laminated veneer lumber that is almost 30 feet long and probably weighs around 300 pounds. We then add the roof rafters to either side of the ridge beam except for the section where the dormer will go. We have a lot to do so let's get into it. In order to raise the beam up close to 15 feet above the floor, we ended up renting a genie lift. We will use Bob to get the genie lift out of the pickup truck and into position. The lift itself is over 300 pounds, but Bob makes quick work of it getting it into position. Here we are pulling off the tarp from the rafters that we had pre-cut the day before. We only had the lift rented for the day, so we wanted to work as efficient as possible. We are now nailing all of the metal hangers to the ridge beam. I am using our rafter template as a guide so that we ensure the hangers are in the correct position. Catherine continues to nail off the hangers, I start cutting the temporary supports that we will set up at each end of the beam along with one in the middle. We then flip the beam over and install the hangers on the other side. Here I am measuring and marking the, the location of the hangers to ensure we get them 16 inch on center.
grab some 2x4s that we will use to brace up the temporary supports to ensure they are level and plumb. Here I am measuring to find the center of the beam so that we can position it correctly on the lift. Get the beam positioned on the lift and then secure with a ratchet strap to ensure it stays vertical and doesn't fall over. Then it's just a matter of cranking the arms and lifting the beam into position. We then measure for the location of the temporary supports and secure them into position. We will add the 2x4s for bracing and ensure they are level and plumb. we have the temporary supports in position level and plumb it's a matter of lowering the beam into position and then securing it into place it is
is now the next day. We installed a few of the rafters and were able to lower the genie lift down and get it back in the pickup truck and return to the rental place. Now it's a matter of continuing to install the rafters in place and secure at both the ridge beam in the metal hangers and down on the floor. We set up the scaffolding and put it on wheels so it's easy to move around and the platforms provide a safe and secure surface to work off of. Much better than trying to work off a ladder 15 feet in the air. The rafters are 2x10s and are almost 24 feet long, so they are a bit awkward to try and lift and ensure the end gets in the hanger at the ridge beam.
here it's a new day the sun is shining and we are still raising the rafters into position finally done with the rafters on the back side of the garage so we are now shifting our focus to finishing off the front point where the second frame of the scaffolding was in the way so we had to remove it. This is the location of where the dormer will start so we had to put three 2x10s together in order to create a three ply rafter to ensure it was strong enough to support the load. There was a bit of a bow in the rafter so I grabbed a bar clamp to help bring the edges together. the way this rafter was lining up with the other two so we swapped it out for a different one.
location for the other three ply rafter to support the other end of the dormer. This is where I'm going to end this episode. Come back and check out the next one as we will be building the end walls for the loft, adding some plywood, and installing the house wrap. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon so you get notified when we upload the next episode. Thanks for watching.